watching LeBron today, Candace, it's like watching him 10 years ago. When he's feeling 100%, he's as dominant as he's ever been. And he has not lost a step, and he reminds you as he attacks the rim, you know, and just gets up almost as high as he did 10 years ago. He's discovered the fountain of youth, I'm convinced. Yeah, no question about that. From deep, here's Doncic. Drills it from deep. Because opponents have to respect his passing so much, a lot of times the three-pointer is there for Doncic if he wants it. Pass to Anthony. Davis with a screen on Bertans. MP the pass to James. Six to shoot. Inside. Kicks it out to MP from about 19. And he buries his first look. You expect LeBron to drop dimes like this. His vision on the court is exceptional. Here's Doncic. He played a great game against Golden State. Runs on a screen on MP. Doncic, no good. MP against Doncic. Anthony, the pass to Westbrook. Now MP. Pass to Davis. Shot clock at six. Yep, that one's good. <laughs> they said he was done. Beautiful pass by Mello, spotting the open man. Dallas has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Doncic passes to Bertans. Back to Doncic. Baseline try. Yes, on the jumper. Doncic has got five points. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Westbrook outside. Brunson against MP. Westbrook outside. Hey, from beyond the arc. And he buries his first look. Oh, man, this must frustrate the defense. Westbrook makes the three look so effortless. The Mavericks have gone two of three to get this one going. Outside, Green. Outside, Bertans. Here's Chris. And that one hits the back iron. Oh, he found an open space for mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. It's so wonderful to see the growth of the WNBA engaging new fans and sponsors. Candace, how does the league continue that ascent, you think? I think the WNBA has to continue to do things different. Um, we are a different game than the NBA, and we can't always use the NBA's um, blueprint as ours. So I think we need to continue to push that and, um, you know, open up more doors for ourselves. Good point. Kicks it out to Berton. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. You have to admire Berton's mechanics. A rock, steady shooter who's always ready to rise up. Here's MP. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Well, we know that MP is serious with his involvement in the fashion world. Grant, he's taken the next steps and is working with a designer right now. Yeah, NBA, that's further than what we've seen from any other NBA player. Seems like MP is angling himself to be a fashion icon during his playing career. Chris, the screen. From deep, here's Doncic. Anthony grabs the board. The Lakers in the lead. MP left side. Pass to James. MP with it. He's against Chris. Good. Davis has got six. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Dallas has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Here's Bertans. Back to Doncic. Chris the screen. Green in the post. Checked by James. Brunson passes to Berton. And the three off target. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 13-5 run. Anthony outside. MP a screen on Berton. Anthony misses. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And it's Green missing. The Lakers have got six of eight shots to go. And it goes out of bounds. That one off that Davis. Easy pass turns into a terrible lines. turnover. And, and that's a possession waste. 
The Mavericks have gone three of eight to get things underway. Well, some time now has passed since the WNBA bubble, Candace. Looking back at that time, what stands out the most to you? Well, for the last six or seven months, we weren't allowed to say bubble in my household. Um, it was a unique experience, one that I am very happy to have been a part of. Um, just in terms of what that season meant to the WNBA and just in sports and social justice and everything that the country was going through at the time. So to be a part of that was great, but just one time, VA, yeah, not again. Well, the WNBA crowned the champion, and maybe most importantly, as always, a leader in the social Welcome justice world. Number one. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage goals. Another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the ball and piling up the assist and force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Dallas has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Outside Brunson, and Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. personal foul. Second team foul. Outside Bertans. Here's Doncic. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Doncic just got nine. A phenomenal score. I love watching Doncic kick it up a notch and take over. Davis misses. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Doncic passes to Brunson. Outside Bertans. Chris with the ball. Takes the three. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Chris has got his second basket. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Here's James. Ooh, rejected by Doncic. Yes, it's good. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Here's Davis over Chris. Davis, that's good. He's got 10. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. And the D is struggling to keep up. Well, the NBA looking at a mid-season tournament, but that's already off the ground in the WNBA with the Commissioner's Cup. All right, Candace, how do you like it? Well, I'd like it a lot more if uh, my team was in the Commissioner's Cup, but it was uh, it was great. I think it made you know regular season games that much more competitive, and it made playing for something in the first part of the season. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. And Dallas calls time here. For T shirts and your MP Let's give him a big round of applause. Your Liquor Girls dance team. Loving the D you got these guys playing, coach. for Bertans. Finney Smith checked in for Green and Hardaway subbed in for Brunson. And here's Hardaway. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Dinwiddie outside. The three-pointer off the mark. Los Angeles has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. MP the pass to Howard. And it's going to be a three-second call. Dallas has gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. Doncic against MP. Outside Hardaway. There's the three. The Lakers with a rebound. Last time they met was in Dallas, where they beat the Mavericks. And they really scrapped out a win last time. Foul trouble on the other side helped them immensely. Yeah, it did. I mean, uh, they were smart about it. Right on. Once the foul started to add up on the other side, they really turned up the heat. That'll drive your coach crazy. 
failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. All right, Candace, you grew up on video games. Tell me what it means to you to be the Ooh, first God. female basketball player on an NBA 2K cover. You know, I think growing up, you dream of having your jersey, you dream of having your own shoe, and you dream of being on the cover of NBA 2K. Um, Honestly, this is a dream come true. I think the kid in me is so excited. Uh, I know I'm the first, but I hope I'm the first of many, many more women to come. Certainly a trailblazer. Clock at six. Johnson against Dinwiddie. Shoots over Johnson. Dinwiddie, no good. The Lakers in the lead. MP drives in. And MP throws it down. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? And guys, it's clear though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. That ties the game. Luka Doncic has got 16 points. Oh, fantastic start from the field for him. Six for eight. MP, the pass to Johnson. Back to MP. He takes it in. The three is up. And Johnson gets it to go on the assist by MP. And the Lakers lead by three. The Mavericks shooting 53%, setting the tone right from the opening tip. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Doncic has got 19 points. He's seven out of nine from the field to start off. Great output. You know, the question is, do you leave him in? A third foul this early could spell trouble. Second and the Lakers making a change here. Mavericks substitution. Group out there. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Chris, he's checked in for Covington. Bertans comes in for Luka Doncic. Green's checked in for Finney Smith. And Brunson is subbed in for Hardaway. Anthony Davis is out there with Carmelo Anthony. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then it's MP. And it's James in at the small forward position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Oh, I love it. He's working the ball down low. Always a good plan of attack. Well, Candace, you've won WNBA titles, college titles, gold medals. I could go on. Is there a championship that you cherish the most? The WNBA championship for me um, is the best of the best. I think that was the championship that took the longest to get. That was the hardest. And, you know, I think because of that, I appreciate it that much more. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Pelicans got the job done. He ended up with a jaw-dropping amount of points, and his assist total was that's his first personal foul. He was focused. He first was relentless. Everyone is still buzzing about it, guys. Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. It's all about getting into a comfort Spencer zone Dinwiddie. early. When he does that, he can be very difficult to contain the rest of the way. Out to James. And there's the screen. From 11 feet away, rebounded by Green. Dallas has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Dinwiddie with it. Now guarded by MP. Stolen by Davis. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Deflects the pass. He was hoping to avoid a third foul before the break. He might have to sit out to half time. Second team foul. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That's foul number two for him. I appreciate that aggression, but that's already his second foul. He's got to play it a little safer. And the Mavericks with possession here. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Your yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loved to see. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Here's Dinwiddie. Six points for him. 
All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. The Mavericks leading. Well, Candace, every NBA fan has their own opinion of Russell Westbrook. But player to player, you have to be a fan of his passion. He brings it each and every night. He brings it each and every night. And there were questions at the beginning of his career if he was going to be able to sustain that level of passion. NBA, he has on a nightly basis. He attacks the rim like he did his rookie season. Let's face it, you can't do what he does every night if it's not authentic. You can't fake that kind of effort. I'm telling you, passion is a skill. Drops in the three. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. The Mavericks have gone four for six here in the second. Dinwiddie outside. Let's it go from deep. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Waiting hard for every miss. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. It's a close game here in Los Angeles. They're fresh off the win against the Pelicans. Oh, man, they were in total control. Really doing anything they wanted. It was that level of dominance. Yeah, the offense looked cohesive last night. Whatever challenge the opposition presented, well, they answered the confidence. Pass to Anthony. Now here's Davis. On the wing, MP. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Number one. MP's got 18 points in the game. The Mavericks have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Now a timeout called by Dallas. Hey, man. Who wants a free T-shirt? Your Laker Girls. Let's give him a big round of applause. Your Laker Girls dance team. On defense, the Lakers. Outside, green. Chris the screen. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will keep it. Davis doesn't. I love how Davis takes pride in sending shots the other way. And here are the Mavericks now. And AD, obviously somebody who can play the four or the five for you. In which role do you think he's more effective, Candace? AD is effective at both, but at the same time, um, you know, he has an advantage in five guarding. And then, of course, the guard honestly has five people on the court that are capable of bringing the ball up. So I would say AD playing against a bigger guy that has to step away from the hoop um, is definitely to the Lakers' advantage. And the statistics show when AD's at the five, the Lakers are at their best. A chance to get a quick injury report. Guys, I was able to catch up with Dallas's head athletic trainer. He relayed to me that there is a break in one of the fingers, not what any player wants to hear. It's a blow to a team that was hoping to be healthy coming down the stretch. It looks like their depth will be tested now. Well, and Ali, it appears that he needs some work done before he comes back to this one. And we all know that if it's something he can play through, he'll be back, no doubt. Bertans with a screen on Westbrook. Just four to shoot. Green. Oh, -ho! MP with a block. Big block from the big fella. Anthony Davis putting up. Lakers ball. The Lakers have gone eight for nine here in the second. James finds Anthony. MP with it. Here's Westbrook. Shoots over Dinwiddie. And that one's long. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside more often than not. Stolen by Davis. MP outside. Goes back up. 
and Davis gets it to go. And now it's a nine-point Laker lead. Very few can do it like AD, using his physical gifts to grab second-chance points. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Subbed in for Dinwiddie. Brunson passes to Doncic. Back to Brunson. Oh, got a piece of it. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. From deep, MP. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists tonight. And he delivers another blow. Something's gotten into him this quarter. He's carrying them offensively. Doncic against MP. Then he drops in the layup off the glass. Doncic has got 21 points in the game. We've seen why Doncic is a perennial MVP candidate. He's taken over completely at the offensive end. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Oh, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Doncic outside. Over MP. And it's Doncic missing. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Oh, oh and the dunk by MP. Such a high action pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. Brunson against Westbrook. Outside Brunson. Pass to Doncic. Down to five on the shot clock. That one falls. Luka. 23 points in the game. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. MP, the pass to James. After the outside. James, outside. Here's MP. Ooh, rejected by Doncic. Hardaway, the pass to Bertans. James with the rebound. James has got rebound number five here tonight. The drive by MP. And MP throws it down. The playmaking is improving with time. Davis has an improved sense of when his guys are over. Applying some pressure with that full court defense. Pass to Finney Smith. Back to Doncic. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting an unreal 69%. Really special stuff here. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised you didn't come up with something a little more creative. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Hardaway, the pass to Brunson. Doncic's left side. Over MP. The Lakers with a rebound. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. On the take. Anthony, the pass to James. Westbrook with it. Now Doncic defending. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Dallas has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Doncic outside. The three ball sinks the tray. Doncic has got nine points in the quarter. Timeout called for the Lakers. And a long second gets free t shirt. Let's see who is the Great job. 
All right, let's see who's coming into the court. Get loud, here they are, your Laker girls. And the Lakers have possession. At one point, they led by 16. Pass to none. MP outside. A minute 31 left in the first half. And the layup is good off the glass. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Well, Candace, thanks so much for joining us and sharing your insights into the game. Thank you so much. Spending a few minutes with Candace, man, she's the real deal. Oh, yeah, she's very authentic, and, and, and that's what listeners love about her. I mean, they can tell she really believes in everything she says. They set the pick. Kicks it out to MP. Pass to Monk. Now here's MP, guarded by Doncic. Back to Monk. Six on the shot clock. From deep. The shot comes out. And the Mavericks go on the other way now. Now finish Smith. And here's Hardaway. Over none. Hardaway, no good. On the wing, MP. Guarded by Doncic. MP, the pass to Nunn. Over Finney Smith. Nunn, no good. Dallas has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Bertans. Uses the glass on the layup. Bertans has got his second basket on the night. The scenario Bertans has been working on. Developing the strength to make these kinds of plays. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line. Agreed, Ralph. Agreed. First team foul. And he drops the first. Number one. Taking two shots. And both free throws good for MP. And the Mavericks with possession here. Down by 15. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. They just looked a step quicker all game long. They knew they had an advantage on offense. The drive by MP. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. With a score, the Lakers. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Won. The Mavericks, 58. Pointer gaining prominence. Grant, that shot wasn't a big part of your game until later in your career. Why was that something you waited to develop? Well, over the years, the game had changed during my career. Early on, I didn't need it as much in terms of how I played. But at the end of my career, in more of a complimentary role, I had to be able to knock down three pointers, and I did a pretty good job. Taking a look at the Mavericks. They've got Luka Doncic. LeBron Green out there with Davis Bertans. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's Chris in at the center position, locking down the middle. Dallas has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Green finds Brunson. Down low. Here's Doncic. And Davis with the block. And it can the ball. Shot clock at six. Pick by Bertans. Here's Doncic. Uh, what you love about AD defensively, the instincts, the ability to move his feet in the time of the shot contest. It's James on the wing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Pass to MP. It's tipped! And here is Green. Hey, yo, yo, right here. To the inside, Chris. Good work there as it goes. Chris has got his third bucket of the night. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime with defensive. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. The Mavericks have gone just one of three in the second half. Now here's Brunson, an aggressive player on offense, scoring around 16 a game. Doncic against Davis. And there's Bertans on the assist by Doncic. The assist from Doncic has got three assists now in this one. MP with it, and it's Brunson picking him up. Westbrook finds MP. And there's the drive. And MP throws it down. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. What a performer this guy is. He relishes the chance to hammer it down. To the paint. Here's Brunson. Can't hit that one. Davis with the defensive effort. The Lakers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Well, as great as he is, Anthony Davis, his own toughest critic, is not enough to be a star. He wants to leave no stone unturned to be great. Pass to Doncic. Back to Bertans. To the inside. Tries again. And count that. Two points and a chance. Are you going me? right through the contact? Luca has tremendous strength, especially for a guy who handles the ball so much. And the Mavericks making a change here. Denwitty's checked in, and Davis a complete player, and yet he's still improving. Chris, as a passer, a scorer, physically, there's always something. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. It's good. Doncic. Doncic has got 35 in the game. They're going to be relying on him here late. I mean, just think about it. Open the come from behind. He just needs to keep doing what he's been doing. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor, and that's a quality all great scores have. Doncic with it. Given 35. Inside. Yes. And a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got three assists now in this one. When you watch Luca play, you can't forget he's 6'7. He can more than hold his own inside. Davis down low. He's against Chris. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Chris, the screen. Pass to Doncic. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. And Davis with the block. On the wing, MP. On the arc, sends it home from three-point land. MP's got 39. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. Another thing, they haven't missed a beat on the fast break in either half tonight. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises... Timeout charge to Dallas. Be sure to all right. Look who's coming nice in job the working with MP this year, Good folks. Job. Here they are. Your Lakers. I can't stop this man. MP on fire.
And that's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Dallas will keep it. Dallas ball. <laughs> Disrupt the play. We're just trying to prevent the opposition from getting comfortable. Next time, that one might get picked. So it's the Mavericks now. Pass to Chris. Doncic is doubled. Outside. Green. Here's Brunson. To stop the run. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control. Protecting the ball the whole way. And Davis slams it home. This is Everything is going AD's way. He's in the zone. It's going at it too. Pass to Chris. Doncic outside. Down low. Here's Brunson. James with the block. Oh, what a swap. I love Brown working hard to be all over. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. And the shot goes in. MP's got 43 points. Getting buckets at a critical time. Just give him the ball and let him go to work. Brunson with it. None in his pocket. Brunson passes to Green. And here's Doncic. 37 points for him. And here's Brunson from the arc. That one falls. Great set up by Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. Trust Doncic to make smart moves with the ball. He puts it in the hands of a guy with a wide open shot. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. No, oh, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. James against Green. Chris the screen. To the middle. Dinwiddie, right side. Four on the clock. And here's Brunson from the arc. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Ariza. Looking for his first basket still in this one. MP, a screen on Dinwiddie. Pass to James. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Launches it. And they'll get another chance. MP, the pass to Davis. To the left side wing. James, outside. Second chance effort. And the officials call a traveling violation. A different look for Dallas. Maverick substitution. Finney Smith comes in for Doncic. And Hardaway is subbed in for Brunson. Tim Hardaway Jr. Dallas has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Hardaway, the pass to Covington. Back to Hardaway. Pick by Covington. Shot clock at five. Stolen by Davis. Now the Lakers moving it up. And here's MP from outside. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got five assists tonight. The Mavericks have gotten seven of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Now Dinwiddie. Ten points for him. Outside Hardaway. And it's blocked by Davis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Substitution for your
Show the D who's boss, MP. You got this. And Dallas with a change here, too. Doncic checked in. Dinwiddie passes to Doncic. Back to Dinwiddie. Doncic with it. Ariza's there. And it's Doncic missing. We've got Dwight Howard. Johnson is out there with Trevor Ariza. Then it's MP. And it's Reeves in at the two-guard spot. That's the Laker five. He's having a great night from the floor. And they're going to keep leaning on him, looking to grow the lead. Dinwiddie passes to Covington. Back to Dinwiddie. This one for three. Drains the triple. Terrific floor awareness. I mean, it's obvious Covington has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. Down low. And stolen by Covington. And now the Mavs on the run. Here's Finney Smith. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Inside. Kicks it out to MP. Johnson passes to MP. Back to Johnson. Out to the right wing. Howard with a screen on Dinwiddie. Just five on the clock. To the inside. In close. Oh, coming to the block. Nice work, Stan, with guys. I like watching. Maverick's ball is on defense and swat shots They're back. Right by you. The Mavericks shooting at 49% so far in the game. Now here's Hardaway. Pass to Doncic. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. Do you think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. The drive by MP. Yet another bucket. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Shoots inside. No good off the back of the rim. Los Angeles has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. 151 left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Howard. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Oh, it's going to take more than that to stop Howard. He's excellent at fighting off the defense. And for Dallas, they're shooting around 42% as we continue play in the fourth quarter. Outside Hardaway. To the paint. Kicks it to Doncic. Again! What an avalanche! My goodness! 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Lakers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And so they powered through to their 51st win of the year. And with just one game left to play between them, they've captured their first two meetings of the year. From Pete Johnson. Offensive board. One on the clock. And there's the bucket as Howard finishes it off. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. And you know they are sure. I mean, come on. The finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play it smart. Pass to Dinwiddie. Outside Hardaway. Lakers foul. That's his third personal foul. The fourth team foul. Checked in for the Lakers. Chris, he's checked in for the Mavericks. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Doncic outside. Fires for three. Howard grabs the miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. This is what winning is all about. 
playing your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for, and when it pans out like this, it's a great feeling. And here's Doncic outside on target from range. Doncic has got 53 points. Now just think what the score would be if it weren't for him. I mean, he's been amazing, but a one-man show isn't going to get you a win in the league. Pass to Ariza. Over to the wing. Back to none. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Showing that they're the far side. The Lakers, 143. The Mavericks, 112. A big thank you to all the fans who made it out tonight. Your support is what makes this possible. Please drive home safely. All right, so how we doing today? Uh, Candace, first question. Wow, with tonight's win, you clinch a berth in the playoffs. How much is rest going to be a priority from here until the start of the postseason? You know, with attitudes towards rest starting to shift in the NBA, I'm wondering, where do you stand on the issue? Look, Candace, I don't subscribe to this outdated hypermasculine thing where you're not allowed to rest. Your body has limits, and that's just science. There's nothing shameful about taking the proper precautions to rest and recover. Actually, it's smart. Yeah, I know. I need my eight hours of sleep. Um, well, what about seating implications? How does that impact a decision to play through an injury this time of year? Um, I think we're at a place where we feel pretty confident with ourselves and our ability to compete in the playoffs, no matter who we face. So if someone needs to rest in order to be healthy for the postseason, we're going to take a look at that. And obviously that decision will be made from the players in a combination with the coach and the training staff, but we don't feel the need to push players to play through every injury in this organization. We're more enlightened than that. Okay, so then what have you heard about the playoffs from some of the veterans on the team? Have they given you any advice? There's nothing I don't know already. It's harder, right? That's pretty much all there is to it. Really? So no advice then? Advice? Uh, nah. I, if anything, I feel like they're trying to put the fear in me, but that's all good. We like to joke around about it with each other. You know, keep things loose. All right, no more questions? Thank you.